Hey guys, AJ here back with another one for you. So guys, I started a series a long time ago about single mothers by choice. And guys, being a single mom by choice is the dumbest, most moronic, most idiotic, most selfishly boneheaded thing that any 304 can do. And all of it is them trying to be strong and independent. I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore. Not knowing or not caring that they're putting their kids in the worst situation possible. So guys, we're gonna start this series up again. <laughs> and look at some of these chicks that are proud to be single moms by choice. But before we do guys, like, subscribe, drop a comment guys. Check out my locals, my second channel, the Discord, the playlist at the end guys, and let's get into this. My life is in shambles, and I think I want to have a baby. Look at that. So, okay, maybe my life is in shambles is a little bit of an exaggeration, but a lot of things are happening in my life, real positive, but also a lot is happening all at once. My car broke down last month, and I need to buy a new car, and I'm going to do that Monday, but honestly, it has been nerve-wracking dealing with Texas DMV. Oh my God, y'all legit must have the worst DMV in the entire United States. When I think about it, it's just honestly a lot. And on top of doing a no spin January that turned into a no spin February and March because I need to buy a new car and I'm on a weight loss journey, which is making me real grumpy because I want some cookies. Jesus I have Christ. decided that this is my last summer to summering because I want a baby. Right there, guys. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, let me let me just reiterate, guys. All single mothers are single mothers by by choice. A woman becomes a single mother by putting herself in that situation. Okay, these are just the chicks that decide to go out and you know, get a friggin' and get inseminated. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I want a child. And if you are wondering, girl, do you have a man? No. There you go. I don't. <laughs> but I decided that I am entering my mid-30s and I want a baby. This is something I've been thinking about a lot and weighing the options of becoming a single mother by choice. And what does that mean for me? What does that mean for my family? And most importantly, what would that mean for the future baby? Because I need to make sure that I'm creating an environment to compensate for the fact that they might not have a father. And I know that they won't have a father because I'm looking to be artificially inseminated. There it is. I don't want to deal with a baby daddy. Look at that. This has been a hard decision for me to make because I feel like I'm letting the entire black community down because I'm going to be playing into a stereotype. But I could get a white baby daddy and then it goes into their pool and not ours. So that's an option. Jesus. But for real, being a single mother by choice is something I never thought I would do. I honestly didn't think I was going to have kids. This is a new found conclusion. So I'm not rushing to do anything. I'm going to think about it, get my life together, lose this weight, get my body prepared, get my finances prepared, get my business up there. And then in October, we're going to circle back around and see what I'm feeling. If I'm feeling like it, then I'm going to hit that bank to go get my baby, you know? But what do you guys think? Single mother by choice. This is a very interesting turn from being child free by choice. There it goes, guys. Now, guys, if you think she's gonna do any of that stuff, the weight loss stuff, the the money stuff, or any of that, you guys think she's gonna actually accomplish any of that? You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run on up. Look at that. <laughs> Hey guys, you notice? Guys, if you look on this chick's TikTok, she's one of those child free by choice chicks. I was like, oh yeah, I'm strong and independent. I don't need children. But then what happens, guys? That biological clock starts ticking, right? That baby fever starts. And now she wants to be a single mom by choice, right? Look at that. Stupid. You moron. What are you doing? Guys, and this is, and then, of course, she's a B dub, so in her comments, there's all this Always was the black queen, mama. clown world, right? <laughs> hey 
And guys, in her comments, she has 29 comments here. I think it's beautiful that it's women who are, who genuinely just just want to be mothers like they want to raise and love on a child. I'm 28. I recently concluded that I need to start a separate savings account to become a single mother. I had my daughter right before I turned 33. It's just me and her. Best thing I ever did, guys. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! I raised her how I see fit. I don't have to argue with anyone. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All these chicks. One, two, three, four, five, six. All these con comments are all telling her, right, that this is the right thing to do. And these chicks are cooked, man. They're cooked. Look at that. You guys, her hashtags. Oh, she's got a lot of them, guys. She put a lot of them on here. Let me put her knuckleheaded face. Yeah. Guys, hashtag TT community, hashtag infertility awareness, hashtag TT sisters, hashtag infertility, hashtag TTC journey, hashtag infertility support, hashtag TT support, hashtag infertility journey, hashtag fertility tips, hashtag fertility journey, hashtag IV journey, hashtag infertility sucks, hashtag IVF, hashtag fertility, hashtag fertility community, hashtag infertility community, hashtag IVF community, hashtag IUI, hashtag fertility treatments, hashtag I'm trying to conceive. Guys, I am not making this up, right? And guys, go and check out the comments on my previous videos, right? Because there's all these chicks uh, on my previous single moms by choice videos that are all mad and t talking shit in the comments. And guys, all I tell them, I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. <laughs> Clown world. 2018 is a year that I will never forget. I had just turned 29 years old and then also was in a relationship and we both mutually agreed that it just wasn't for us anymore. I kept going back and forth of do I enter the dating world again or do I explore options of becoming a mom? And I knew that you can actually become a mom by yourself, but I didn't know where to even start. Did a lot of research and decided to bring up to my mom and my sister that I wanted to become a single mom by choice. And they were there fully supporting me and they said, let's do Of this. course they were. Of course they were. Cause it's not like this chick actually has anyone in her life who has some goddamn sense. Can you imagine? Of course, her mom and her, sis, her sister would support this, right? Because guys, once again, this is all this strong and independent. I am woman, hear me roar, in numbers too big to ignore. Foolishness. Do this. I had my first appointment with my fertility doctor, and we went through the IUI process, and we scheduled some labs, and then also talked a little bit about donor purchasing. And then I found out that my insurance didn't cover anything else past that. So uh, I was really bummed, but I kind of took that as a sign as, you know what, maybe there's something else out there for me. So I continued to date, and in the meantime, I did get another job which had better insurance which i also found out covered a lot more so it was three years later and i decided you know what at the age of 34, 34. i was going to possibly try this again so, so i made yet another appointment and i'm so glad i did because my insurance ended up covering so much more than i expected so yeah that's my journey 2018 is Look at that guys now guys the only bonus about these knuckleheaded 304s doing this is that they don't just go go find Nug Nug or Gavin and let let them shoot up the club, right? Because guys, that happens all the time. You know what I mean? These chicks hit 34, 30, 30, 35, go to the bar, right? And accidentally miss their birth control. And of course, Gavin, Nug Nug, and Gerardo, they don't care, right? All they see is some tail and you know what I'm saying? More bastard kids. This is the dumbest thing you could ever do. The most ridiculous, moronic foolishness, right? Guys, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane and irresponsible. Absolutely crazy, guys, right? Clown world. <laughs> Hey guys, all this, she has 367 comments. This is, 
Amazing. I'm 29 now. And I've been thinking that if I'm still s a single at 34, I'm probably g just going to try and be a single mom by choice. Someone said, I, I just had this conversation with my grandma. So she was talking about me finding a mom. I was like, I, I, sorry. She was talking about me finding a, a man. And I was like, no, ma'am. I'm using a donor by 34 at 35, I can't find someone worthy of sharing my life with. Someone says, yay, my mom did this. Yikes. Someone says, S a single mom by choice here, due in April. Fellow mom by choice. Guys, guys, do never ever donate your sperm or do any of that, guys. Please don't. Please don't. And of course, some simp, some moron, right? Some goof, some beta. This is so amazing to see that so many women have done this on their own. I always thought that this is the next step for empowered women. Come on, dude. Come on. Here I come to save the day. Look at that. Hey, guys, this next one. Single mom by choice here. My dad said that you'll never get married. Sir, I'm happy being with just my son. But is your son ha happy? Are you happy that you're going to raise a beta? Right? Or some kid, you got to ask, Why are you gay? <laughs> hey guys, there are hashtags. Hashtag single mom by choice. Hashtag SMPC. Hashtag journey to becoming a mom. Hashtag answered prayer. Guys, there it is. C come on. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! Do they think God has anything to do with a single mom by a choice that has bastard kids? I told you guys, they all, they, they screw their lives up beyond repair. And then it's always about Jesus. Hallelujah. Clown world. All right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. This series is going to keep on going. I appreciate you guys. Have a good one.